I'm here in Shattuck Creek Estates on a street called Forest Park Lane. We've actually got two projects we'll be doing here side by side. We've got this one that you see that we will be breaking ground on in about a month. And then we've got this one right next door that we are breaking ground on this morning. This is day one. We set our forms a few days ago, got our form survey done, and now we're actually beginning our construction. We've got our foundation crew here to pour the piers. This truck right here is drilling the piers. We're drilling down about 22 feet. And then this truck here is pouring the concrete in them. And uh, hopefully we'll get this done today. They may have to come back tomorrow to finish up, but in all likelihood they will get it done today. And what you see on the ground here is a sump pump. But what we have to be careful of when we drill pier holes we have to be careful that we don't encounter an excessive amount of water in the ground. We have a lot of clay in our soil. Our soil has a tendency to retain water. And so if we run into a bunch of it, we have to pump it out and keep it pumped out until we pour the concrete. But in this case, uh, the worst we've seen is three or four inches of water in the bottom of a hole, which is nothing to worry about. So I'll get a shot of them pouring this one so you can see how the process works. They've got the, the gentleman standing there with a stick in his hand, he uses that to measure how far down it is to the top of the concrete in the pier hole. We want the top of the concrete to be just below the, the height of the beam. The piers sit under the beams. They are not connected to the beams. The beams sit on top of the piers. So he's got a laser transit set up and he'll use that stick with that device on it in his hand to tell where the top of the pier needs to be. They'll keep pouring concrete till they get just enough in there to be just below where the bottom of the beam will be. And then you can see on the ground right here, there's some rebar. There's two number fives that are tied together. They will drop those two number fives into the pier hole for reinforcement. it is January the 26th. The temperature is about 45 degrees. There's a moderate breeze from the north blowing today. We have extremely clear skies. Humidity is low. Comparatively speaking for our area it is low. So it's a good day to work. Of course when you're pouring piers in the ground the concrete's going to set up uniformly. There's no no plastic encasing these piers, so the moisture will come out of the concrete and bleed into the soil so that the concrete sets up uniformly. So temperature is really not an issue when we're pouring piers. When we're pouring a, a slab, we have to be very careful about days where we have too much moisture in the air, not enough moisture in the air, too hot, too cold. Those things all go into consideration when we're pouring a slab. But when we're pouring piers, it makes very little difference since we're pouring into a hole in the ground. 